let's go ahead then we are done with our one of the five head i'll not say first head of income because actually income tax mate is the second head of income so we are done with the second head of income that is income from house property it was intentional primarily because house property being an easy chapter gives you salary is also easy as and vaise direct tax is easy it depends on who you learn it from but you get that feeling of confidence especially when you give answers on your own and you get correct answers to aisa lagta hai ha ca hai but i can i think i can do it i think people say that ca is difficult but i think i will be able to do it wo feeling ke liye the first head of income was house property at this stage we are done with basic concepts residential status agriculture income included in that exempt income ka chapter house property four chapters are over we will now go to our first head of income in income tax but we are learning it as the second head of income that is acha before i do that theek hai ye to name to you all have said but i want to hear one sentence from you ha section 4 wala kya income tax is payable are bhai that to we will calculate no once we calculate our income so income calculation is going on income tax is payable by every person person ka meaning done in each assessment year on the net tax that is only going on net taxable total income is going to go on and on and on and exempt income chalu hua tab se entity is only going on so yes on the net taxable total income on during the previous year so previous year assessment year person done residential status scope of total income done incomes which will not be included done and now we are into incomes which are included jisme house property is over now we go to the first head of income in income tax charging section section 15 it is this section which says hey you have salary you pay tax on that just like in house property now that the chapter is over this is expected from you house property ka charging section was 20 if you have house property you pay tax on it if you have house property you pay tax on it likewise section 15 says you have salary pay tax this is the meaning of charging section the section which makes your income taxable is called charging section samjha kya to do you have income from salary pay tax the first head of income anyways worldwide the most two popular ways of earning income are salary and business house property is popular only in a country like india because concentration of wealth and all that logic i explained to you theek hai capital gain rare hai because you don't sell your assets every day so we classify that is abnormal profit that way if you see you know if you just end up including it in your normal incomes to your normal income ka picture will be distorted aisa lagega why sudden shoot up of your profits to we show it separately and ifos as the name indicates that it is going to be anything that does not come anywhere else otherwise salary and business are the main two source sources of income worldwide we go to our first head of income charging section 15 income from salary starting with an introduction an introduction is so big that it likely that it will end up consuming the remaining lecture okay sabse pehla point and the most important point of the chapter the essence of taxing any income under salary sir essence matlab kya essence matlab the main or the only condition that will make your income under salary taxable this will decide whether your income is salary or not salary this will decide ek baat batao how do you decide whether one income will come under house property there are three conditions i'll just give you this in now tell me what are those three conditions there has to be a building as as he has to be the owner and not doing business correct hai ke nahi in house property there are three conditions in salary there is only one condition and i can directly tell you the condition lekin mahol background maza to usme let me give you an example two situations there is an assessee there is a person called mr x and he is getting late for work situation 1 he is traveling in his own car therefore it is own driver situation 2 he is traveling by cab 
taxi and therefore taxi driver you are able to relate to this yes, suits you know huh. in both situations you are getting late like really late okay chances are that you will be fired now theek hai usme aa gaya achanak se traffic signal mumbai after all signal let's start get a signal वैसे अहेड ऑफ द सिग्नल देर इज नो ट्रैफिक एट ऑल इट्स एन एम टी रोड बट यू आर वेटिंग एट द सिग्नल एंड यू हैव गिवन एन इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द पर्सन एट द ड्राइविंग सीट दिस इज द पर्सन एट द ड्राइविंग सीट नो टू टू डिफरेंट स्टोरीज टू डिफरेंट सिचुएशन जंप द सिग्नल सो इन सिचुएशन वन यू आर टेलिंग whom your own driver jump the signal in situation 2 you are telling the taxi driver my question is who out of the two is likely to listen to you or should i say that way to if you are sitting in any cab like ola or uber also normally those drivers listen to you only these kali pilis they are a little arrogant but they also generally they, they <coughs> at times you tell them भैया म्यूजिक चालू कर दो बंद कर दो समथिंग लाइक दैट दे विल लिसन टू यू माय क्वेश्चन बेसिकली इज इन अ सिचुएशन वेर यू आर आस्किंग द ड्राइवर टू जंप द सिग्नल एंड द ड्राइवर डज नॉट ओबे डज नॉट कंप्लाई विथ योर इंस्ट्रक्शन यू कैन टेक एक्शन अगेंस्ट होम ओन ड्राइवर टैक्सी ड्राइवर बोथ ऑफ देम नन ऑफ देम That आज के बाद I will not let you drive this car. नहीं नहीं वो ओला वाले को भी बोले मतलब वन स्टार आई विल गिव यू वो हा 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 दिस इज वेट द सीक्रेट ऑफ द चैप्टर लाइन ऐसा नहीं है नन ऑफ देम यू आर सेंगे नहीं सर लॉ तोड़ने का लॉ तोड़ने का बोला है but but the thing is that The boss is always right. Ka jo funda hai, that is going to apply here. And the main thing that decides an income under salary is employer employee relationship. When you are on the fixed payroll of someone, that means you are an employee and you have to comply with the instruction. The taxi driver is not on your payroll. He is not your employee. You have to pay both of them. They go ultimately at the end of the service. You have to pay both of them. But whatever you pay him is not salary. Where it will go, we are not interested in that. It will not come under salary. Only this driver will come under salary because of employer-employee relationship. Only one thing that decides income from salary. Everything else is irrelevant. House property means there are three conditions: building, owner, etc. But in salary, only one thing, only one factor. the relation between payer and payee should be of employer employee if the relation is of employer employee then it is salary otherwise it is not salary if the relation is employer employee then section 15 will get triggered otherwise it will not get triggered and some authors ak malu also known as patan and virat kohli cha naam hai na chiku you know that ऋतिक रोशन डुग्गू करीना कपूर बेबो नहीं और कौन है इतना काफी है सम ऑथर्स ऑल्सो राइट इट एज मास्टर सर्वेंट रिलेशनशिप I am a little uncomfortable, uncomfortable with with uh, this this thing called master and servant. This is this is not correct terminology. This this is not how you refer to, ah, huh, derogatory. Or you you are basically humiliating someone by using terms like these. So, देखो. सोफिस्टिकेटेड वर्ड यूज करके भी पीपल आर ह्यूमिलिएटेड ओनली व्हेन दे आर वर्किंग एज एम्प्लॉय बिहेवियर में तो एवरीवन इज ह्यूमिलिएटेड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वेदर यू यूज द टर्म एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉय और यू यूज द टर्म 
master servant one thing is for sure only on the existence of this relation salary income will arise otherwise income from salary cannot take place so after today whenever you are asked, woken up in the middle of your script bol salary income kab hota hai you just have to say one thing employer employee relationship that's the only thing that matters nothing else nothing else will matter and this is such an important point that you will get to see this point getting confirmed aage ja ke next point see we are in the introduction of salary ka chapter i said points to be noted i will do फर्स्ट पॉइंट में एसेंस लेकिन एसेंस ही कंटिन्यू होगा सेकंड पॉइंट बोलता है दैट इफ योर एम्प्लॉयर इज पेइंग ऑल थ्रू आउट द चैप्टर आई विल बी राइटिंग ईआर फॉर एम्प्लॉय एम्प्लॉयर एंड ईई फॉर एम्प्लॉय ईआर ईई एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉय इफ योर एम्प्लॉयर इज पेइंग एन एम्प्लॉय इज गेटिंग इट कैन बी पेड बाय द नेम ऑफ सैलरी जो फिक्स्ड मंथली होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड सैलरी इट कैन बी पेड इन द नेम ऑफ वेजेस अभी क्या है ये डिपेंड करता है यू नो कॉर्पोरेट एम्प्लॉय ऑफिस वर्कर्स आर पेड सैलरी फैक्ट्री वर्कर्स आर पेड वेजेस ऐसा डेली वेज भी होता है दैट जितना डेज यू गो एंड वर्क उतना डेज का यू विल गेट मनी ओके ना वेदर यू कॉल इट सैलरी और यू कॉल इट वेजेस वेदर यू गिव इन द नेम ऑफ समथिंग कॉल्ड बोनस तो पूरे साल में वन मंथ का एक्स्ट्रा वी गिव जनरली एट द टाइम ऑफ दिवाली एक्सेट्रा बोनस वेदर यू गिव स्पेशली जो सेल्स टीम में होता है दो एम्प्लॉज आर गिवन ऑन द परसेंटेज एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ सेल्स समथिंग कॉल्ड कमीशन वेदर यू गिव देम इन द नेचर ऑफ कमीशन वेदर यू गिव देम इन द नेचर ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ अलावेंस यू कैन एड द वर्ड अलावेंस इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी थिंग एंड गिव मनी टू द्लॉय मतलब टिफिन अलावेंस money to bring tiffin travel allowance they are self explanatory money to travel then you can add allowance in front of anything roti kapda makan chaddi banyan anything you can you can just add the word allowance ke ye cheez ke expenditure ke liye i am giving you money at the end of the day william shakespeare has said what is there in a name and under this sentence he wrote his name ये जो नेम्स है नेम्स इज रेलिवेंट हु इज गिविंग एम्प्लॉय हु इज गेटिंग इज देर रिलेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयर एंड एम्प्लॉय बिटवीन द पेयर एंड पे तो ऑल दिस विल बी टैक्सेबल अंडर इनकम फ्रॉम सैलरी अंडर सेक्शन फिफ्टीन वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द नेम ऑफ द इनकम बींग पेड दैट डज नॉट डिसाइड द head of income the relation between payer and payee is the deciding factor where this income will be taxed if payer is employer and payee is employee employer employee or master servant if payer is employer payee is employee whatever be the name it will be taxed under income from salary samjha chalo itna important point hai this point called employer employee relationship that it is going to continue in point number 3 and 4 also there is a partnership form this form is paying salary obviously form should have brains that salary should be paid only to working partner you all know the difference between working partner sleeping matlab active and dormant ha bolna mat nahi sir i also know partner by as triple partner by whole all all i am interested only in active partner sleeping partner the person who is a sleeping partner are you foolish that you are paying salary that means that person is not participating nominal partner is only giving the name not participating so he will not get salary salary will be paid only to those who are participating into the day to day work working partner what is the income that is being paid salary salary therefore this is going to be taxable for the partner under which head of income firm is paying to the partner firm is paying to the partner what is being paid salary 
तो टैक्सेबल अंडर and only those students can understand who have understood the previous two points yes, and i again say that statement the name of the income is totally irrelevant what decides this head the relation between payer and pay a partner is not an employee of a firm he is the bloody owner and when you are an owner if you have that anxiety sir theek hai salary nahi aayega that we have understood and right now i want you to understand that only kidhar jayega let me be clear about that also this will be taxable under section 28 that is pgvp <coughs> because a firm is the partner ka kya owner firm partner ke liye kya hai पार्टनर फॉर्म के लिए ओनर है बट वॉट इज अ फॉर्म फॉर दी पार्टनर इट इज इज बिजनेस इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट दैट वे पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म इज अ कॉम्बो ऑफ मल्टीपल प्रोप्राइटरशिप आई वॉन्टेड टू डू बिजनेस यू वॉन्टेड टू डू बिजनेस बट अलोन वी आर नॉट एबल टू डू सो वी मर्ज अवर एक्टिविटीज सो अल्टीमेटली इट इज द बिजनेस विच इज ओन बाई ऑल ऑफ अस एंड वंस इट इज माई बिजनेस इट इज एक्सेबल अंडर बिजनेस If you don't understand that right now, that is okay. But my point right now is this: He is not an employee. Is that clear? He is the owner, so it cannot be taxed under salary. Even if the name of the income that is being paid is salary, it will not get taxed under salary. That's the most important thing that you need to understand right now. So finally, the name of the income that is being paid is absolutely. irrelevant the relation between payer and payee will decide whether it is salary or no if the payer is employer and payee is employee payer employer payee employee payer employer payee employee so it is salary whatever you call it whether wages bonus commission and if the payer and payee are not employer employee then even if you call it salary it will not be taxable under salary the name of the income is irrelevant the relation between payer and payee will decide income from salary is the final conclusion with the three points so what is the most and you understand now why we call it the essence why we call it the main condition or rather the only condition because only on the basis of this you can decide whether the income will come under salary or next are we 100% clear about employer employee relationship wala pass as a clarification it can be passed present or future employment is employment that is employer employee relationship necessary for this head of income to be triggered yes, yes. present me to kya example do you are working for a company abc limited and every month you are getting salary you don't need an example for this your employment is going on and you are getting that salary in course of that employer employee relationship taxable under salary but what do you mean by the other two at least i should clarify this future employment now understand you clear chartered accountancy then they will keep something called campus placement you heard of this yeah. campus placement matlab institute will invite companies to recruit you you have to fill that online application with the attempt in which you cleared how many attempts you cleared what are your marks what is your area of interest what is your expected salary package etc you have to fill that data will go to the companies and the companies accordingly will shortlist the candidates then they will call you for they will keep that one two two days ka event where shortlisted candidates will be interviewed job offer will be given to you you accept the offer or reject the offer supposingly you say ke sir my ca is clear i have got a rank also but my article ship is still pending kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai two three months of article ship is pending final ka attempt has come but you have taken lot of holidays during your article ship so you have to compensate them after your final ka exam after your results to cover up that period so you tell that company ke sir don't worry i will join you 
done i am signing the contract but after three months my article ship is still going on before completion of article ship even if you pass a ca final you can't get membership number membership number ke liye clear ca final complete article ship and there is one course mcs karke gmcs karke you have to complete that then only you get your membership number well, sir i promise that i will join you the company has fear that other companies are also keeping their eye on this candidate or kuch bhi ho jaye i want this person in my company bola you want to join after how many months bola how many months ke baad you want bolo kitne months two months come after four months no problem take two months holiday after four months when you join us your salary will start uska ye advance pakro 5 lakh rupees the employer so that you don't run away no elsewhere after accepting you can't breach the contract whatever you call it your employer employee relationship is yet to commence but this income will still be taxable under salary kyunki if not now to no problem this is given on account of employer employee relationship which can be past present or future present is the easiest to understand this is future very soon it is about to start we are giving you an advance for it samjha kya now what about past example getting something called pension after ha huh. listen continue the story finally after 4 months you join that company 5 lakh rupees advance you have taken now you should be professional enough to join that company and you are so dedicated kya loyalty hai that 30 years of your life you work for that company you mostly by the time you retire you retire as a director or partner or ceo or something like that now you retire full life you have given to this organization and during that full life are pura pura work life pura work life employer employee relationship was going on going on going on and you got salary so obviously that was present relation now that you have retired is your employer employee relationship over yes but your past employer now mark my words i am calling that person that company your past employer because you have already left your job will continue to pay you something called continue to pay you something called pension not compulsory and generally it is paid only to government employees government employees paida kyu hote hai maza marne ko correct or no but in case see listen private sector mein kya hai once you retire no need your ex boss once you retire or you resign or you leave the job you are dead for them you think your ex boss will pay you pension no matter how cute you are he is not interested in that nahi lekin government sector mein ye concept hai but then there can be some people in the private sector they don't worry you have given your full life to the company the company is with you till your last breath in fact after your retirement we will pay to after your uh, after your retirement will pay you after your death we will continue to pay your spouse also so after your retirement you are getting pension your employer employee relationship is over but whatever you are getting that you are getting on account of that 30 years ka relation it is not a present relation but it is a past relation at some point of time there was employer employee relationship and this is being given on account of that consequently whether past present or future ha but suno now that we have gone into that let me ask you after the employee dies pension will be paid to the spouse that will not be taxable under salary the answer is hidden somewhere in whatever we have discussed so far bolo bhai because the spouse was never the employee there was no employer employee relationship between spouse and the ex employer okay so if the retiring employee is getting it's a past relation to salary but after death of the retiring employee spouse ka jo family pension we call it family pension that's taxable under ifos income from other sources understood so you work for a company before joining you get advance future employment that's it 
during your work life you get salary that's obviously salary ka taxable income and after retirement you get pension it will be still taxable under salary because past present future employment but after your death if the spouse gets pension that won't be taxable under salary because once again between the giver and the receiver the only criteria that you have to check is whether there was employer employee relationship only that is going to decide samjha kya chaliye so if you observe carefully four points we have studied in the introduction but all four points are talking about only one thing if you just pick one line four points are over what is that one line employer employee relationship sir abhi aage to badho chal to next point salary will be taxable when it is due or received whichever is earlier salary will be taxable when it is due or received whichever is earlier sir what do you mean by this two examples i will give you example 1 okay you join a company at 50000 per month you work for 12 months so you should get 12 months ka 12 into 50 12 into 50 50 50 karke total amount of 6 lakh rupees you received 10 months ka 5 lakh rupees and 2 months ka jo 1 lakh hai that is outstanding not received this one lakh okay so what's your total salary for the year 6 lakh rupees ye 6 lakh mein se 5 lakh has become due the moment you work and you have received it also okay to ye 6 lakh mein se 5 lakh has become due and it is received also stupid to even ask you will this 5 lakh be taxable yes 1 lakh actually mai kya hua you tell your boss sir next year i plan to get married so i want to save some money if you will give me no i will end up spending it here and there so you keep with yourself next year when you will give me my salary which will again be 6 lakh only no unless there is an increment 6 lakh ka jo salary hai next year give me 7 That second year का six plus year one का outstanding, so that I have more money for my wedding. So one lakh is due, but not received. Will this be taxable? Yes, because due or received, whichever is earlier, and therefore this will also be this will also be taxable as it has become due. due or received whichever is earlier is this clear chal second example now you tell your boss sir mere ko to isi saal shaadi karni hai she to she said yes as i was trying to convince her i thought she'll get convinced by next year but she to got convinced very fast yaar tum kuch convince karne mein kuch maza hi nahi aaya to sir abhi ek kaam karo current year salary 6 lakh प्लस नेक्स्ट ईयर का एडवांस वन लैख पे मी सेवन लैख राइट ना ऑब्वियसली नेक्स्ट ईयर डोंट पे फुल सिक्स नेक्स्ट ईयर यू विल पे ओनली फाइव गोज विदाउट सेइंग तो ये सेवन लैख को आप ब्रेक करेंगे सिक्स लैख ड्यू एंड रिसीव्ड तो फटाफट बोलो स्टूपिड क्वेश्चन हो जाए वन लैख दिस टाइम इट इज रिसीव बट बट इट विल बी टैक्सेबल बिकॉज ड्यू आर रिसीव ऑब्वियसली ऑब्वियसली नेक्स्ट ईयर इट विल नॉट बी टैक्सेबल तो नेक्स्ट ईयर क्या होगा देखो सैलरी ड्यू विल बी सिक्स 
रिसीव विल बी फाइव करेक्ट है वो सिक्स में से वन पे भी हैव ऑलरेडी पेड टैक्स इन योर वन इट सेल्फ तो योर टू में ऑब्वियसली वी विल पे टैक्स ऑनली ऑन फाइव लैक्स सेम इनकम कैन नेवर 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 बी टैक्स वाइज सेम इनकम कैन नेवर बी टैक्स वाइज ऑब्वियसली नेक्स्ट ईयर इट विल नॉट बी टैक्सेबल अगेन इज दैट वेरी क्लियर टू एवरीवन ओके तो नेक्स्ट ईयर इट विल नॉट बी टैक्सेबल अगेन इफेक्टिवली वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट सैलरी इज गोइंग टू बी टैक्सेबल व्हेन इट बिकम्स ड्यू और इट इज रिसीव्ड आउट ऑफ द टू इवेंट्स व्हिच एवर इज अर्लीयर at the earlier point of time okay but also note the following couple of points one sometimes salary becomes due in next month sir ye kya hota hai i'll tell you supposingly you work in april फर्स्ट अप्रैल को यू वर्क तो फर्स्ट अप्रैल का सैलरी हैज अक्रूड ड्यू नहीं बोलेंगे अक्रू हुआ द मोमेंट यू वर्क इट अक्रू यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड ड्यू ड्यू मींस एनी इनकम दैट हैज अक्रूड व्हेन डज एन इनकम अक्रू द मोमेंट यू वर्क एंड यू कैन एनफोर्स पेमेंट सर पैसा दो After every lecture, I can't go and say, "Sir, pay sir." But every lecture will make some payment accruing to me. No, we can say that. Okay, itna kam ho gaya, itna payment has accrued. This much work is done. This much payment has accrued. But that does not mean that I can enforce payment. Uska ek criteria ho sakta hai that dekho ek mahina kam karo, then on the basis of that mahina kam. एनी पर्सन हू वर्क ऑन आवरली सिस्टम इन कोचिंग प्रोफेशन में तो उसका तो एवरी मंथ के एंड पे आवर्स का स्टेटमेंट इज आई डोंट वर्क फॉर आवरली पेमेंट एनी वे तो ठीक है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से ठीक है तुम्हारा बैच कम्पलीशन होगा एट दैट टाइम यू विल गेट योर पेमेंट तो क्या आई एम इन नो अरी आई एम नॉट लिविंग हैंड टू माउ ठीक है बैच कम्पलीशन पे देना सो ड्यू कब होगा बेस्ड ऑन म्यूचुअल डिस्कशन ड्यू होगा आई कैन फोर्स के नहीं अभी पैसा दो वेन एट बैच कंप्लीशन बट अक्रूवल इज हेपनिंग एवरी डे ओके सो आई वर्क इन अप्रिल फर्स्ट अप्रैल को आई गो एन वर्क पेमेंट इज अक्रूइंग बट नॉट ड्यू फुल मंथ आई वर्क तो एज पर माई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद द कंपनी दैट इफ यू वर्क फॉर द फुल मंथ यू कैन टेक पेमेंट ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे एज पर माई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद द कंपनी You can come and ask. So fifth me koi si. April full month you work. Fifth me koi you go and say, "Sir, paisa do abhi." Five tarikh ho gaya. You can't come every day. You can't come on thirtieth April. Isa nahi hota hai ki month is over and last day of the month you go and say, "Sir, paisa do." Come on fifth. That's your due wala date. Accrual is every day. Due hoga fifth ko. ठीक है. And received you can say same day ho sakta hai. Next day bhi ho sakta hai. Company is also complying with its promise. Well, a due will be on fifth, and we will give you not later than tenth. Fifth and tenth ke beech mein. Most corporate companies have this culture that tenth se fifteenth ke beech mein ya fifth se tenth ke beech mein we will give you a payment. So working makes your income accrue, but due kab hua? Fifth mein ko. So that means, do you understand that due fifth mein, received sixth mein, whichever is earlier. So April ka salary ka taxability will arise in May. तो लाइक वाइज मे का सैलरी विल टैक्स विल बिकम टैक्सेबल इन जून बिकॉज अर्लियर इवेंट इज ऑल्सो हैपनिंग विच एवर इज अर्लियर भी बोला तो भी जून में जून का सैलरी विल बी टैक्सेबल इन जुलाई थोड़ा आगे जाएंगे जनवरी का सैलरी विल बी टैक्सेबल इन बिकॉज बोथ इवेंट्स आर हैपनिंग इन फैम वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन अर्लियर वाला इवेंट बट बोथ आर हैपनिंग इन फैम ठीक है फैब का सैलरी विल बी टैक्सेबल इन मार्च एंड मार्च का सैलरी विल बी टैक्सेबल इन बट मित्रों वो तो नेक्स्ट ईयर होगी ये पॉइंट इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हेन सैलरी इज बिकमिंग ड्यू इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ ठीक है ऑल दीज मंथ्स वेर इन द सेम फाइनेंशियल ईयर तो नो प्रॉब्लम बट मार्च का सैलरी विल बिकम ड्यू ऑल्सो इन नेक्स्ट ईयर नेक्स्ट मंथ इज ऑल्सो द नेक्स्ट ईयर नो Do you also in the next year? Received also in the next year? 
That means earlier we are interested in earlier. Earlier event is happening in the next year. So March ka salary will not be taxed in this year. Whenever salary becomes due next month, the March ka salary will be taxed in the next year. So, बच्चों को लगता है सर तब तो फिर इधर only 11 month का salary become. नहीं ना लेकिन सर at the same time do you realize that यहाँ पे there was some March ka salary which became taxable in April. In other words, we will for such situations, what will happen is the taxable salary of this assessee is going to be March to Feb instead of April to March. March to Feb, March to Feb, March to Feb because salary is becoming due in the next month. So March ka will be taxable in the current year ka April. Last March ka in the current year ka April and current March ka next year ka April. Accordingly, we will pay tax on salary from March to Feb, not of salary from April to March. Our financial year only for this calculation will become March to Feb because due or received, whichever is earlier. Is this first point clear? And then there is also something called graded system salary. Sir, you join a company at 50,000 rupees per month. Company says every year we will give you increment of 1000 rupees. So next year what will be your monthly income? 51,000. Year 2, 52,000. Year 3, 53,000. Year 4, 54,000. Year 5, 55,000. Once you reach 55 ka level, then your annual increment will become 2000. Matlab year 6, 56 nahi hoga. 57. Year 7? 59. Year 8? 61. After you reach 61, your increment will become 4000. So, 65. 69. After you reach 69,000, we will give you increment of 11,000. The more number of years you work, it's fair that we give you more increment also. So they will give you a graded system. Matlab, they will give you a question like this. You will be wondering, sir, may is se konsa salary loop? You see your 20 to 23 is falling in which period? So it is possible that you joined this, say on 1st April 18. Matlab 18, 19 ka 50 hai. 19, 20, 21, 22. Aisa karke you have to reach 20 to 23 and accordingly find out ke is me se konsa salary range mein you are falling in 20 to 23. This is basically your increment. Increment kab tak till the time you reach this level. Once you reach this level, then this will become your increment. Once you reach this level, then this will become your increment. Accordingly, you will find out that in 20 to 23, what was the salary. From April to March, normally in all sums April to March, unless the question says that salary becomes due on the next month, then we will not take April to March. Then we will take March to February. That's a graded system salary, fixed increment wala salary. So that was our point number five. Salary will be taxable on due or received, whichever is earlier. Is that clear? If it becomes due in the next month, so fir March to Feb and graded system ka due salary is also clear to everyone. Chali. But that was fifth point. First four points together told us only about one thing, which is the most important thing. And what is that? Employer employee relationship. Point number six. Salary foregone. In English. Foregone matlab. Example. You work April to March. 50,000 throughout the chapter, I will take 50,000 ka example. You work from April to March. No problem. And salary is becoming due on the last day of the same month. Matlab taxability will also be April to March. Okay. First 11 months. The moment last day came, say 30th April aya. Boss bula hai, le tera 50,000. Boss is also very good. Huh? Last day, he is giving you salary. Normally, 
बॉसेस नेवर कॉल यू सामने से टेक योर सैलरी यू हैव टू गो एन आस सर वेन आर यू गिविंग बट दिस बॉस इज लाइक गिविंग यू विदाउट आस्किंग लास्ट डे आया टेक फिफ्टी टेक फिफ्टी एंड देर फॉर कैन आई से यू हैव रिसीव फाइव लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च योर बॉस प्रिपेयर दैट लास्ट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का चेक विच विल कंप्लीट योर सिक्स लैख एंड ही गेव यू ये ले तेरा लास्ट चेक यू आर सेंग कीप द चेंज कीप द चेंज वो रख टिप रख यू आर टेलिंग योर बॉस रख लो अरे तू यू नेवर डन दिस इन अ रेस्टोरेंट दैट यू पे द बिल एंड वो बैलेंस लाके बोला रख लो कोई बात नहीं बार बार शॉप में यू आर डूइंग दिस विथ योर बॉस रख एंड आई रियली अप्रिशिएट द काइंड ऑफ बॉस यू वर यू ऑलवेज लेफ्ट मी ऑन टाइम यू ऑलवेज पेड मी ऑन टाइम एवरीथिंग आई वॉज सो हैप्पी दैट दिस टाइम यू यू कीप आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू टिप मार्च का आप बेसिकली आपने फोर गो कर दिया यू टेल योर बॉस दैट कीप इट अच्छा बॉस इज ऑल्सो वेरी पर्टिकुलर बॉस बोला नहीं सी आई एम अंडर लीगल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट आई हैव टू गिव यू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड तेरा भरोसा नहीं एक साल के बाद में यू फाइल केस अगेंस्ट में दिया ही नहीं आई नीड प्रूफ दैट आई गिव यू बोला ओके डू वन थिंग इन माई नेम गिव अ डोनेशन टू एनी ट्रस्ट गिव इट बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट I am very happy with 550 in my life. I don't want this extra six, six uh, extra 50. You have foregone this last 50,000. This 550 will be obviously taxable. I am not discussing this with you. What about this 50,000? You have not taken. You have refused to take it. Accrued, nay. Due. डिफरेंस है इट विल बी टैक्सेबल वाई टैक्सेबल एज इट एज बिकम ड्यू इन अदर वर्ड्स कैन आई कंक्लूड दैट सैलरी फॉर गोन इज गोइंग टू बी टैक्सेबल मैं क्या बोलता हूं लॉजिक समझो योर बॉस गेव यू फिफ्टी लास्ट फिफ्टी हा फर्स्ट फाइव फिफ्टी तो यू टेकन लास्ट फिफ्टी यू सेट रख लो रख लो बॉस रख लो हाउ डू यू हैव दैट पावर बिकॉज यू हैव बिकम दी ओनर ऑफ दैट फिफ्टी Give it to a trust. You are telling that to your boss because you have become the owner. The jail me paisa hai abhi. Haan, tar nahi tere koi pucha. You have money in your pocket. Kitna hai? If you don't mind me asking. Rakh le. Keep it. Hey, can I say that to anyone? You can say that for any amount which belongs to you. No. मतलब ये इज बिकम द ओनर ऑफ दिस फिफ्टी आफ्टर बिकमिंग द ओनर देखो वंस यू वंस यू अर्न योर सैलरी देन आफ्टर दैट यू गिव इट बैक टू योर बॉस बोला कीप द चेंज या टिप ले लो यू डोनेट टू अ ट्रस्ट और यू गो होम एंड सरेंडर एट द फीट ऑफ योर मदर मदर ही बोलने वाला था यू गो होम एंड सरेंडर एट द फीट ऑफ योर मदर दैट इज इेलिवेंट द मोमेंट यू अर्न इनकम इट इज गोइंग टू बी टैक्सेबल समझा क्या सो टैक्सेबल सैलरी फॉर गोन इज गोइंग टू बी टैक्सेबल ऑन ड्यू बेसिस करेक्ट बट देर इज अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड सैलरी सरेंडर्ड एंड दिस सरेंडर इज सैलरी सरेंडर्ड टू गवर्नमेंट लेट्स बी क्लियर लेट्स बी क्लियर सैलरी इज सरेंडर्ड टू गवर्नमेंट सो सर वॉट इज दिस पोरगोन का मीनिंग यू अंडरस्टूड छोड़ दिया नॉट टेकन लेफ्ट इट सर वॉट इज सैलरी सरेंडर इन इंडिया देर इज अ लॉ कॉल्ड वॉलेंटरी सरेंडर ऑफ सैलरीज एक्ट वे इंडिया में ऐसा हजारों लाखों लॉ है वन ऑफ दम इज वॉलेंटरी सरेंडर ऑफ सैलरीज एक्ट वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज दिस वेन एवर देर इज एनी नेचुरल डिजास्टर एनी मैन मेड डिजास्टर तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द कंट्री विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट मनी इन अ फंड कॉल प्राइम मिनिस्टर नेशनल रिलीफ फंड बट नेशनल रिलीफ फंड का लॉ इज बेसिकली यूल बी सरप्राइज टू यूर कि उसमें ऐसा कुछ लॉ है दैट हु एवर इज द सिटिंग प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस विल डिसाइड वेर दैट फंड हैज टू बी यूज मतलब कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन नहीं हेड ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी विल डिसाइड तो इसलिए ये मोदी जी है ये एस गॉट इज ओन टगले इस बाढ़ में गया पीएम नेशनल रिलीफ फंड मेड पीएम कैट्स 
सेपरेट फंड ही क्रिएट है बोला इसमें कांग्रेस का नो वन कैन इंटर किया तो वेन एवर देर इज एनी सच डिजास्टर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट मनी इन दैट फंड बट इट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल दैट दैट डिजास्टर इज कन्फाइंड टू अ पर्टिक्युलर स्टेट फ्लड्स इन अ पर्टिक्युलर स्टेट या राइट्स इन अ पर्टिक्युलर स्टेट तो इन सच सिचुएशन द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ दैट स्टेट Currently, it is Mr. Shinde in our state, but how long and how Maharashtra has become a political circus. Anyways, he will stand up and request the citizens of the state. Suno, my dear Maharashtra ke residents, this state is earning livelihood for you. This state is giving you everything. I request you to kindly surrender one month of your annual income. वॉलेंटरी सरेंडर ऑफ सैलरीज एक्ट का नाम वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द लॉ वॉलेंटरी सरेंडर ऑफ सैलरीज एक्ट नेम इट सेल्फ सेज इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी आई रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सरेंडर यू मे यू मे नॉट इन केस यू डू आर यू हेल्पिंग द गवर्नमेंट दैट्स द लॉजिक दैट्स द ओनली लॉजिक आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट इट हेज नॉट बिकम ड्यू इट हैज बिकम ड्यू but because you are doing it this this is the most important condition you are surrendering in favor of the government so at least we should give you that much benefit so any such voluntary surrender will not be taxable is that clear so any voluntary surrender of salaries will not be taxable but provided the surrender is in favor of नहीं तो कल जाके बोलेगा सर आई वेंट होम एंड वॉलेंटरीली सरेंडर्ड माय सैलरी एट द फीट ऑफ मदर 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 देन इट विल बी टैक्सेबल आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड ओनली व्हेन द बेनिफिशियरी इज गवर्नमेंट वी ग्रांट यू दैट बेनिफिट ऑफ नॉट पेइंग टैक्स बोल वी आर कंप्यूटिंग इनकम और टैक्स हो गया इसी में आंसर चुका हुआ यू टेल मी वॉट इज द मंथली सैलरी टेक एनी एग्जाम्पल जरूरी नहीं है कि फिफ्टी थाउजेंड में वॉट इज द मंथली सैलरी तो पूरे साल का ट्वेल्व लैख रुपीज How many months का you surrender to the government? मतलब इलेवन लैख यू एव रिसीव वन लैख यू एव नॉट अगर ये फोर गोन होता इन द फेवर ऑफ एनी बडी अदर देन दवर्नमेंट फोर गोन तो ट्वेल्व लैख इज टैक्सेबल इनकम एंड नाउ दैट इट इज सरेंडर्ड इन फेवर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट तो इलेवन लैख इज योर टैक्सेबल इनकम तो द टैक्स विल बी कैलकुलेटेड ऑन टैक्स किया किधर है अभी हमने टैक्स वी एव नॉट कैलकुलेटेड वॉट आर वी कैलकुलेटिंग एनटीटीआई में है एनटीटीआई में वी आर डूंग हेड ऑफ इनकम कॉल्ड सैलरी आप समझा क्या तो ऑब्वियसली वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन रिड्यूसिंग इट फ्रॉम द इनकम रिड्यूसिंग नहीं बोलूंगा वी विल नॉट इंक्लूड इट ओनली इन अवर टैक्सेबल इनकम इज दैट क्लियर ओके तो सैलरी फॉर गोन एंड सरेंडर का मीनिंग एंड टैक्स ट्रीटमेंट क्लियर इफ यू आर फॉर गोइंग योर सैलरी तो इट विल बी टैक्सेबल बट इफ यू आर सरेंडरिंग इट टू द गवर्नमेंट तो इट विल बी नॉट टैक्सेबल is that clear yeah. absolutely chaliye with this we reach the last point of our introduction which puts us in a big big under a big big question mark sir kya sir the big question mark here is giver will be employer receiver will be employee will you be comfortable with this short form throughout the chapter yes. okay if giver is employer receiver is employee if that relation is established then irrespective of the name in which we are paying them employer paying money to the employee by any name will be taxable under so sir what are you going to teach over the next 4 5 lectures maybe a little more than that the standard time for salary is about 15 to 17 hours what are you going to teach the basically i am working for a b c d e f g in b c d e f g i am independent but in case of a i am working as a fixed permanent 
पर्सन इन द पे रोल ऑफ दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो वॉट एवर आई एम गेटिंग फ्रॉम ए जस्ट टेक द टोटल दैट इज माई टेक्सेबल सैलरी एंड फॉर दी अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट विल नॉट बी टेक्सेबल सैलरी दैट मीन्स इफ देर इज एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉय रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम दैट रिलेशनशिप जस्ट टेक द टोटल दैट सैलरी इनकम एंड फ्रॉम अदर प्लेसेज डोंट टेक एनीथिंग because that is not salary because there is no employer employee relationship to question ye hai sir we understood what is covered in this head what is not covered in this head employer employee relationship hua to covered nahi hua to not covered but sir what are you now going to teach us for the remaining lectures supposingly i become a ca and join a company abc limited as an employee to every month they will pay me something at the end of the year i just take the total that is my salary and along with abc limited i am doing some private work also there i am not an employee so that i will not take in the total matlab just segregate my relations into employment and others employment wale ka total is my taxable salary income so sir i just have to take the total wo calculator kaisa chalane ka is is that what you are going to teach for the next five lectures because did we understand that ultimately humko total lena hai yaar so sir what are you going to teach us this point 8 is going to exactly tell us what we are going to learn in this chapter the main thing that every employer will give his employee wo jo fix monthly hota hai ya fix number of days pe hota hai salary wages anything will that be taxable obviously yes that's the head of income theek hai iska to total lena hai taking this total is going to be your taxable salary income but sir what do we have to learn in this chapter along with salary every employer is going to provide his employees two things plus bola matlab it is over and above salary ek fixed salary what has to be given has to be given but over and above salary every employer will give two things to his employees one every employer will give something called allowances to his employee and second every employer will give something called perquisites ya more popularly known as perks to his employees what is one thing common between allowance and perquisite here itself it is visible that they are over and above salary so if you are getting fixed monthly whether 50000 1 lakh whatever this is extra over and above wo clear hai one more thing which is common whether your boss is giving you allowance or your boss is giving you perquisite both of them are taxable to mitro is a salary taxable yes. yes over and above salary if you get allowance is that taxable yes, yes. if you get perquisite is that taxable yes so what are two common things in allowance and perquisite point out for me right now then only i go ahead what are two things common they are over and above salary, they are over and above salary. second बोथ आर टेक्सेबल तो सर डिफरेंस क्या ये सब तुमको किधर पता कभी अच्छा वो टेन सेवन यार मैं ये सब कहता तब तो ये हो गया अलावेंसेज आर मॉनिटरी इन नेचर एंड परक्यूसेट्स आर non monetary example 1 you are working for your boss boss is giving you 1 lakh rupees per month good salary 1 lakh rupees per month taxable total you have to take 12 months ka 12 lakh but you go to your boss and tell sir ye 1 lakh rupees thank you sir you are very good but sir 1 lakh rupees is not enough to stay in a city like mumbai and if you force me to stay for you at 1 lakh rupees then i will commit suicide and write your name sir nahi you and you can't tell me to sleep on footpath this is mumbai and there is salman khan to sir kuch to you will have to give to boss says romat every month i will give you 1 lakh plus i will give you 40000 more 1 lakh plus 40 1 lakh plus 40 we call it house rent allowance kya bola is the boss giving you money to allowance 40000 is in money no 
सो टेक दिस मनी पे रेंट ऑफ योर हाउस टेक दिस मनी पे रेंट टेक मनी पे रेंट टेक मनी पे रेंट तो वो क्या हो गया बिटवीन एम्प्लॉयर एंड एम्प्लॉय इफ देर इज फ्लो ऑफ मनी 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 तो अलाउ ऑप्शन टू नहीं नहीं ये गाड़ी है सॉरी ये भी एक्टिवा का चाबी ये कबर का चाबी ये घर का चाबी घर पे रह गया छोटे अनिय मैं थोड़ा डेमो अच्छे से देता बट फॉरगेट इट बॉस घर का चाबी है किसी के पास नहीं बॉस इज गिविंग यू टेक दिस चाबी एंड गो स्लीप इन दैट हाउस दैट मतलब जिसका ये चाबी है वो बना मीन्स ही इज गिविंग यू a place to stay first question is this over and above that 1 lakh yes. so 1 lakh cash plus chabi 1 lakh cash plus chabi correct hai that's a per cube z rent free accommodation difference samjha yes difference samjha nahi samjha Me employer, you employee. Me employer, you employee. High employee, बोला high employer. One lakh, one lakh, one lakh, one lakh, one lakh. वो तो हो गया salary. Taxable. Over and above this one lakh, there are two possibilities. I give you forty thousand rupees. ये forty thousand rupees में you take a house in Church Gate, Marine Lines, Chennai Road, Grand Road. किधर? That's your problem. I give you forty thousand cash, monetary. Between employer and employee is there flow of money, 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 money? So allowance. Option two, chabi diya na, so you have to sleep in that house only. But is that key over and above one lakh? First question. Yes. Second, if the boss is giving you that place, is that a benefit for you? बोलो कैसे? Because if he does not give you, so from that one lakh you will have to pay rent somewhere. But that is saved, no? So first question. Is this chabi over and above one lakh? Yes. Is this resulting in some benefit? Yes. But is there between employer and employee flow of money? I'm not talking about that one lakh. One lakh khatam ho gaya. With respect to this staying wala thing, is there flow of money? No. That's a particular. So when it is monetary in nature, it will be allowance. When it is non-monetary, it will be perquisite. And now. My question is, I have already answered that question though. What will be taxable, allowance or perquisite? Both are taxable. Under allowance, finding out the taxable value is very easy because the money is readily available. Forty thousand, forty thousand, forty thousand. So every month one lakh plus forty, one lakh plus forty. Perquisite me thoda difficult hai. One lakh is taxable, but that is so covered in the salary wala part only, na? How to tax this? लॉजिक समझो लॉजिक इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस यूल अंडरस्टैंड द फुल चैप्टर बॉस गेव मी अ प्लेस टू लिव बिकॉज ऑफ दिस आई एम सेविंग माई रेंट एक्सपेंस इफ दिस प्लेस आई वुड हैव टेकन ऑन रेंट तो वॉट वुड हैव बीन माई रेंटल एक्सपेंडिचर इट मे नॉट हैव बीन फोर्टी देखो वो तो डिपेंड करेगा विच हाउस विच प्लेस इज गिवन फोर्टी उसने दिया देन यू टेक अ हाउस इन चर्च गेट और वीर आर दैट इज योर प्रॉब्लम but he is giving you a key to a particular house that house if you take on rent from your own pocket what is the rent that you pay example zaruri nahi it can be what it can be what it can be anything bolo kitna 50 that means you have saved 50000 the amount that you save because of the facility given by the boss is your taxable purpose ek statement bolta hai accounts mein Prevention of outflow is inflow. Expenditure saved is profit earned. You make it makes sense to you, and this can therefore happen with respect to anything. समझ ना अभी आपको? Now every day you go to office on time, and your working hours are dangerous. So your boss is giving one lakh. One lakh to fixed taxable हो गया. Now your boss is saying every month I will give you ten thousand. कॉल फॉर फूड इन ऑफिस रोज का तीन सौ रुपया दैट मीन कैन आई से योर बॉस इज गिविंग यू टिफिन माई क्वेश्चन इज दिस बिटवीन एम्प्लॉयर एंड एम्प्लॉय टेन थाउजेंड जो अमाउंट है इज देर फ्लो ऑफ मनी 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 फ्लो तो मॉनिटरी एंड टेन थाउजेंड इज टेक्सेबल 
बट ऑप्शन टू ये ले खाना पॉसिबल इज दैट फूड ओवर एंड अब वन लैग यस बॉस इज गिविंग यू मील फैसिलिटी इज दिस ओवर एंड अब यस सर बट इज इट इन मनी नो इट्स इन काइंड नॉन मॉनिटरी ये भी टैक्सेबल है मनी में टैक्सिंग इज इजी क्योंकि टेन थाउजेंड पर मंथ लेना है दैट्स द फ्लो ऑफ मनी फूड में इट इज डिफिकल्ट यू विल टेल मी हाउ टू टैक्स वन लैक इज टैक्सेबल यहां पे तो मनी गिवन मनी रिसीव्ड इज टैक्सेबल यहां पे हाउ विल यू टैक्स बिकॉज बॉस हैज नॉट गिवन मनी ही हैज गिवन फूड इफ यू अंडरस्टूड माई एक्सप्लेनेशन इन हाउस तो यू शुड बी एबल टू आंसर दिस If you buy that food, what will be the cost? Is that is what you have saved? That's perquisite. So first, let me complete. Main thing that every employer will give his employee is going to be salary. Salary is going to be taxable for all employees. Over and above salary, every employer will give his employee allowance and perquisite. So what are two common things between them? First. Both are over and above salary. Second, both are taxable. What is the difference? The only main difference? Monetary. No, monetary. The matlab between employer employee. Ile paisa, 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 paisa. Allowance and not not money, but benefit in kind, 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 kind. Or kisi. If money is given, then it is very easy. The money given is going to be taxable. But if benefit is given in kind, so how to value? Common sense. If you spend from your own pocket, what will you spend? That is something that you have saved. That will be the taxable value so this is where the chapter gets divided in two parts that is allowances and perquisites allowances and perquisite as are two parts ke andar chapter gets divided is that clear first of all now i will take your doubts because how these two parts will decide what we will be doing over the next three four lectures wo hum mein batayega aapko but why is the policy allowance perquisite because uh... वो डिपेंड करता है ना देर आर मेनी पीपल हु टीच डायरेक्ट टैक्स इन द मार्केट और डिपेंड करता है ना हु इज दैट पर्सन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड If you want to retain that particular person, it does not happen with everyone. So, if if your talent is only that you can sweep the floor properly, so आपके जैसे बहुत है ज़्यादा उच्चार मत बनो, I'll hire someone else. But if your talent is that you can sweep the audience on its floor, then there is a difference between you and the others, no? ठीक हमने क्या? So we want to retain that talent. तो तेरे को क्या चाहिए तू बोल देर आर दीज बॉसेस हु टेल देर एम्प्लॉज तेरा खाना पीना नाना धोना सब मैं करेगा मतलब लाइक लिटरली नहीं कि वो आके नलाएगा बट आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ एवरीथिंग डोंट लीव माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो देन इफ योर क्वेश्चन इज वाई ही विल गिव देखो वो वॉलेंटरी ट्रांजेक्शन है वी आर नॉट यूर टू डिसाइड Why should an employer give? We are here to decide if given, then what is the tax treatment? Correct, I can. And but still, you ask me why will he give? I want to retain that. Tell. Okay. Uh, but. But corporate is still taxable. Because rent three or four is less than three or eight. Boss is to giving three no, yar. So tax one ka kya hai? Faida government ka faida. No. अगर परक्यूसिट डज नॉट बिकम टैक्सेबल तो आज के बाद माय एग्जांपल मे नॉट वर्क इन सैलरी का चैप्टर बट इन जनरल आई वर्क फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आई डोंट गेट सैलरी बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एन एम एम्प्लॉय वो और सैलरी के लिए आने के लिए एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉय रिलेशनशिप इज मेन आई एम नॉट एन एम्प्लॉय नहीं है प्रोफेशनल फीस आता है दे पे मी इन मनी इट इज टैक्सेबल If according to you, non-monetary payment should not be taxable. So, okay. After that, I'll complete one batch in any organization. I will say, "What? I will do one job. One month's ration is yours. You pay for that. I mean, you send that. 
grocery to my house for one month. Well, next month, next month pay my child ka school fees. Bring admission. Samjha? So, benefit in kind has to be taxable. Otherwise, people will convert. See, ultimately, A is paying something to B. Now, B may be employee or professional. If monetary benefits are taxable and non-monetary are not taxable, then so B and A together, B will tell, A ja ke B ko puchega, dek beta B. With my money, what will you do? Bula, I will buy grocery. Mahine bar ka grocery and Saturday night ka. So, A wo hi buy karke de dega na yaar. So obviously percusives have to be taxed. And my question is again this to you. Is this an extra benefit that you are getting? Is this a benefit or not a benefit? It is a benefit. You have to pay tax on that value. Have you understood what? Or say What's your question? I understood the fact. It is a perquisite. It is a perquisite. And what will be the valuation? If that's your question. Aapne kaun sa house choose kiya? Uska market rent no? It is possible that your boss is saying that I want to give you two houses. Keep one family at both places. To dono house ka market value will be taxable. See what is the perquisite? Boss is providing you some facility and you are availing it. Khud ke pocket se how much you will spend? That you are saving because he is giving. That saving is your profit. And the profit will be taxable. Samjha? So now, Mr. House, 1 lakh is your salary. Allowance may already 1000 rent allowance 40,000. Hmm. But, uske samne, you also have the option for rent-free accommodation. Some bosses may give that option. Some bosses may not give that option. I am saying in this situation, you have that option. So now, for, if I go for rent-free accommodation, if I were to uh, go and uh, buy a uh, rent a house, it would have cost me 8,000 rupees. So if I choose that, what will be my total like this? Like this, kya hota hai? what will be my total like this? Matlab? Like what? Yes, semicircle. Hai. So you have to be first clear about what you want to ask. I want to ask something, but I am I am still thinking what I want. Will that percentage uh, rent your company? And you can't just see monetary factors. If boss is giving money, I am spoiled for choices. I can take wherever I want. But if he is giving me house, I have to take that house which he is giving. No? Okay. Usme bhi boss bolta hai, chal, you search for house. I will take it on rent and give it to you. That option is also there. That is also best. And some are like, nahin, main money lunga. Money lunga na, I will try to cut the landlord. I will try to bargain. Kitna bhi kam karke, wo jo net profit hai that I will save. No? 40,000 I am getting. You know, and I bargain, bargain, bargain. I bring the landlord down, down to 25, 20, 18,000. To wo baaki ka profit I am saving. No? If that is in your mind, ke, yaar, usme to mere ko jada benefit. At the end of the day, what you do is sit with a paper and a pen. If I choose this option, what will be my inflow and outflow? If I choose the second option, what will be my inflow and outflow? And as a decision maker, wherever you are getting more profit, that's not, you know, something that is taught in chartered accountancy or taxation. That is basically, I have two options, which is more profitable for me. You choose that option. If you have an option, so if your boss says, Nahin, main paise dega, I don't have a house, then you have to take that option of allowance. If your boss says, I have this house, then why I should give you money? Take it or leave it. But if you have an option, there is a question in our book. Two options are given. House rent allowance, kya accommodation? Choose. So there we will do both calculations and choose. Aap samjha kya? Yeah. But point here is that we should know what is allowance, we should know what is purchase. Whichever is beneficial, choose that option. Aapne yeah. okay. Educational scholarship wala section ya de. Achha, by the way, section 10, nature and nature. Section 10, exempt income. Exempt income. Uh, educational scholarship. Somewhere in the 80s, 80s, ka, you were not there. Uske pehle ka. There was a case law 
where articleship stipend was held to be educational scholarship and accordingly because of this provision it was not taxable par kya hota hai first of all for tax to arise you have to cross 2 lakh 50000 ka us that means crossing 20000 per month so first of all first year articleship mein you don't get it anywhere second mein you don't get it third year mein you get it only if you are in big four then you cross 20 25000 okay abhi 25000 bhi hota hai so it becomes 3 lakh and then in our tax calculation there is a concept called a rebate so because of which your tax liability ultimately becomes zero only so there are some chartered accountancy firms which teach or uh, treat that stipend as taxable including total income but tax liability does not arise because it is below the threshold of triggering tax but the real treatment is it is a part of educational scholarships so it won't be taxable that's the real treatment but a lot of ca firms are not aware 99.9% ca firms are not aware it does not affect only because article ship stipend hota hai 3000 4000 5000 rupees per month 5000 per month is 60000 per annum this can never trigger tax in the lifetime 0.01% jo ca firms hai which pay massive stipend but that also in the third year okay they are the only firms who are actually interested they treat it as taxable income without knowing the law and poor guy the article does not even know so sometimes some nominal tax is applied that article ends up paying sometimes especially after this 5 lakh ka jo rebate wala concept that has come in tax calculation that income up to 5 lakh then we will give you rebate and make your liability zero so effectively 5 lakh matlab 40000 and practicing cas so practicing cas nahi but qualified cas also are not getting 40000 ka salary starting mein of course after 2 3 years of experience you can 40000 kya or 50 kya 1 lakh kya 2 lakh kya that depends on how much talent you show your boss in the first year of work but at the start simple suggestion hai, becoming a ca you are getting a job of your choice ki mujhe ye karna pasand hai there are hundreds of options in ca cas are no longer confined to audit and tax your degree can take you you will be spoiled for choice i want to go in this field this field this field or this field. what will happen is the field that you like will pay you a ridiculous amount and the field that you don't like will pay you a lucrative amount and there if you go wrong in your decision you regret for the rest of your life the field that you like and you want to pursue it no matter how much it is paying treat it as your post qualification training and accept ridiculous amount unless you have financial pressure can you mere is paise se hi my house is going to run if that is the case there are cases like that also then it's a different thing then you accept wherever you are getting wo fir wo usko wo principle bolte hain wpm principle whoever pays more some people go for a job on the basis of this principle but that depends on what's your criteria if financial pressure is not the pressure on you so whichever field you like choose that at a ridiculous amount or isile kya hota hai first 2 3 years of post qualification also you don't come in that tax bracket if you ask the tax treatment article ship stipend is examined okay ha so how will this point 8 lay down the road map this chapter will now be divided in two parts allowances and perquisites dekho salary to kya hai salary is paid that is included in your income allowances and perquisites first part of the chapter allowances can i say they are received in money and they are taxable but what will happen is there is going to be some amount that you have received from your employer obviously how much you have received that has to be given to you in the question from the amount that you have received jaise 40000 ka example we took for hra ya 10000 ka for tiffin sometimes from some allowances income tax law has prescribed some exemption under section 10 section 10 is exempt income yeah. while doing the chapter itself i told you that whichever is unrelated to any head of income i am covering those points out here but there are some section 10 exemptions which are given in particular heads so there is this section 10 10 which says gratuity mila hai na from your boss so you get an exemption ya 10 10a which says that if you have pension there will be some exemption fully exempt nahi hoga 
there is a calculation that we have to learn so this full series which is related to salary will be taught to you here section 10 ka lot of sections will be taught in this chapter so can i say how much amount will be exempt that you have to learn and i have to teach after you subtract the amount which is exempt can i say the net amount is your taxable and this will be added in your taxable salary that means you can complete your allowances wala part of the chapter only after you are done with this if you complete this you can say ha sir allowances complete usme the amount received that boss will give you 40000 10000 that question will give you from that 40 from that 10 how much is exempt that i will teach you from 40 from 10 whatever is exempt usko subtract karke you will get the amount taxable that you will add in your taxable salary that means see if you understand what i am saying i will teach you the first part of the chapter allowances hum log heading banayenge allowances we will solve sums mehnat karke hard work karke we will get final answer in a sum that amount is the exempt amount because received amount is given in the question classroom knowledge is how to calculate the exemption and that final answer of your sum subtract from the amount received which is given in the question and you get the net amount that you have to include in your taxable income samjha as against this when we go to the second part of the chapter that is perquisites will complete allowances give the second heading perquisites here i will teach you valuation of taxable perquisite directly this which i taught you orally if the boss was not giving me the house then how much i will spend that amount is directly taxable and this directly taxable amount will be obviously added in my so basically my taxable salary will finally have three components that fixed monthly basics we call it the basic salary that amount for which you are hired that plus allowances which boss will give you in money but from that what is exempt that i will teach you so final amount taxable and then boss has given you perquisite directly value the taxable amount and take it in the out of pocket what i mean to say is under allowances i will teach you some calculations the final answer of that calculation don't add in your income subtract from the amount received because what you have calculated is the amount exempt subtract from the amount received and the net amount add in your taxable income on the other hand under allowances do hard work solve some final answer kya karoge under perquisites directly add in the taxable salary matlab my explanation right now is under allowances what will i teach you to calculate the amount which is exempt and you have to subtract it from the amount which is received but under perquisites what will i teach you to calculate directly what is the taxable amount and obviously kaun se allowance mein how much is exempt that i have to teach you and which perquisite how to pay tax how to value and pay tax that i have to teach you that is how the chapter is going to be divided into two parts allowances and perquisites and once i complete allowances and perquisites salary will get over we when we started this point number 8 came across a question i created a question a confusion for you i said payer is employer pay is employee payer employer pay employee once that relation is established everything will be taxable under salary in that relation just add 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 add, add, add total will be a salary so sir what are you going to teach for the next 5 6 lectures two things allowances perquisites allowances perquisites let's see if you are clear about the following things both of them are over and above salary first similarity both of them are taxable second similarity differences allowances are in money perquisites are non monetary so money non money but both are taxable so in both i will teach you calculations under allowances what we receive is already given to us so from this what is exempt that exemption wala part i will teach you but under perquisite directly how to value the taxable amount will be taught to you matlab our calculation under allowances will give us 
exempt amount and our calculation under perquisite will give us taxable amount and that is how we will learn two parts of the chapter over the next few lectures allowances will go on for about two three lectures and then perquisites for about another two three lectures that's how our total chapter salary is placed are we clear on this okay and now we have a pro forma of calculating income from salary like any other head house property ka pro forma tha na gross annual value municipal tax likewise how to calculate income from salary first thing that we will take in our salary income is going to be our basic salary and see my presentation up there is an inner column there is an outer column can you see that very good basic salary will directly go in the outer column basic salary is that fixed monthly payment for which your company has recruited you basic salary has gone in the outer column so silly question then is basic salary taxable yes. yes because if it is directly going in the outer column it is taxable second question this still requires some talent to answer is there any exemption in basic salary बेसिक एक्सेम्शन तो टैक्स कैलकुलेशन में आता है इनकम कंप्यूटेशन में वाई डू यू से सो मैं बताता हूं कैसे इज फुल बेसिक सैलरी डायरेक्टली गोइंग इन दउटर कॉलम यस मतलब देर इज नथिंग एक्सेम मैंने क्या बोला जो मॉनिटरी पेमेंट है उसमें सम सम एक्सेम्शन विल बी टॉक टू यू बट बेसिक सैलरी में देर इज नो एक्सेम्शन बेसिक सैलरी इज फुल्ली टैक्सेबल क्यों फुल्ली टैक्सेबल तभी तो आउटर कॉलम के अंदर लिखा है बिकॉज देर इज नो एक्सेम्शन प्रिस्क्राइब प्लीज कम यू allowances my will teach you exemption only if there is a prescribed exemption for some allowances they are giving exemption but for lot of allowances there is no exemption so such allowances are going to be fully taxable directly we will take them in the outer column correct chalo second वैसे तो we have to learn the allowances one by one but i still would like to enlighten you about the oh thandi lag raha hai इतना इतना फेसेस योर लाइफ में समार्क तो लाइक के सर अभी बस दस मिनट बचाए जिंदा रहने का फ्रीज हो रहा हाँ करो करो लिसन अलावेंसेस वैसे तो वी विल यू नो गो बाय द फ्लो वन बाय वन एस एंड व्हेन वी कम अक्रॉस देम बट दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर अलावेंस द मोमेंट एनी बॉस डिसाइड्स टू गिव समथिंग ओवर एंड अब सैलरी the first thing that your boss will give you something called da that is dearness allowance i am finishing the discussion the meaning the explanation of da here itself sir what do you mean by dearness allowance dekho ek to it is over and above salary but jaise house rent allowance the name made it clear it is being paid to pay rent of house tiffin allowance was given for buying tiffin what do you mean by dearness allowance dearness allowance is paid to employees to meet the increase in cost of living dekho the word dear has got two meanings ek to प्रोनाउंसिएशन वाइज एक ये डियर भी आता है सलमान खान वाला नॉट दिस डियर दिस डियर दिस डियर वन डियर विच यू हैव इन कॉलेज एंड अनदर यू नो द सेकेंड मीनिंग ऑफ डियर डियर स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो द सेकेंड मीनिंग ऑफ डियर समथिंग विच इज गेटिंग डियर डे बाई डे कॉस्टली डे बाई डे एक्सपेंसिव day by day iphone 14 is dearer by a few grands few thousands compared to iphone 13 aisa kuch this is the second meaning ye wo come dear ye wo wala dear nahi this is expensive wala dear as an employee with your salary you have to meet your living but cost of living is becoming expensive you join your job at at 1 lakh rupees you thought ke wow 1 lakh rupees ghar ka rent 25000 per month food grocery zomato saturday night party all included 30000 per month 
provision for contingency another 20 that's total 75 still save 25 per month wow tax secondary hai wo tax theek hai pehle pehle you see income and expense no second year mein food grocery has become expensive petrol has crossed 100 and it will be 109 gas per something it is 106.9 is it is going on everything has become expensive children ka school fees become expensive you got married to automatically expenses became double because abhi party mein one saturday night party no one bottle ne two bottle lagta hai na abhi so everything is becoming expensive now please understand one lakh which was enough till last year is insufficient now aap samjha kya so to meet that increase in cost of living okay you go and tell your boss sir ye 1 lakh mein nahi ho raha sir boss is saying dekh you have done an agreement that 2 3 years tak you will work at 1 lakh fourth year mein i will give you increment to abhi to i will not increase so you are saying theek hai sir to fir i am putting fire on myself outside your office and writing a suicide note blaming you aap samjha kya so your boss will give you something extra over and above salary to meet increase in cost of living that is called dearness allowance meaning is clear chaliye this dearness allowance ha that that's my next thing that's my next thing okay this dearness allowance is of two types first there is something called dearness allowance in terms very popularly known as da in terms in terms in terms matlab fixed in terms matlab same as what he was trying to say forming a part of salary matlab you join the job suno 1 lakh salary 10000 dearness allowance at the time of joining the job boss tells you to meet increase in cost of living dekho my promise is 1 lakh i'm still giving you extra 10000 kiske liye to meet increase in cost of living after this whatever be the inflation in the market whether your cost of living increases by 20000 or 1 lakh i am not going to give anything extra that means day one say he is giving you fixed amount that is called da in terms mitro and why do i call it da forming a part of salary it is as good as you are getting 1 lakh 10000 ka salary and therefore we call it da forming a part of salary da in terms is also known as forming a part of salary because sometimes it can also be something called da not in terms bola is saal covid tha tumko bahut takleef hua is saal i am giving you 20000 extra next year i will again give you 1 lakh only agar salary bada diya to next year again he will ask no matlab da which is not fixed not forming a part of salary aisa nahi ki as good as you are getting fixed basic salary dekho in terms matlab every month 1 lakh 10000 1 lakh 10000 as good as basic salary is 110 but not in terms matlab is mahina le le because of this contingency next month i will not give agar basic salary increase kar diya that means we have to give it every time no and that is why we have a concept of da not in terms and actually real da is not in terms only in terms wala da is as good as extra basic salary bolo chalo you are with me on this but look at the calculation part here i am writing da in terms in the inner column da not in terms in the inner column and dono ka total i am taking in the outer column what do we conclude by this you can answer the following questions is da in terms taxable yes. partially ke fully yes. da not in terms taxable yes. partially ke fully yes. and the total of the two amounts is being taken in the outer column that means da in terms not in terms fully taxable abhi idhar aao how much da boss gave you question will tell what is the exemption from da zero no exemption In other words, DA received equal to DA taxable. DA received equal to DA taxable. Samjha kya ne? Okay. But more importantly, tax treatment to will be taken care of. Maine kya bola? I'll divide chapter into two parts. Allowances, perquisite. Under allowances, I will teach you exemption. 
I will teach you exemption only under those allowances where there is exemption. If I don't teach you any exemption under DA, that automatically means DA is fully taxable. Correct again? Tax treatment will be taken care of. Meaning clear again. Dearness allowance is an allowance. Ek allowance hai, matlab it is monetary or non-monetary. Why is it being paid to meet the increase in cost of living? It can be fixed or fluctuating. If it is fixed, it will be called DA. In terms, if it is not fixed, it will be called DA not in terms. And ultimately, the total of the two will go in the outer column. That means DA in terms plus not in terms. Total will be taxable. Ultimately, DA in terms or not in terms, both are taxable. When the tax treatment is same, when the tax treatment is same, some students feel, sir, fear what difference it makes ke in terms, ke not in terms. Kya farak padta hai? You can just write the DA ka total in the outer column. We are going to learn exemption calculations. When we learn those exemption calculations, some of the calculations require us to break up DA into in terms and not in terms. So at that time, we would have encountered this question, sir, in terms kya padta? See, I could have not given you this data. And just said DA is extra allowance to meet cost of increase in cost of living and it is fully taxable. So directly take it in the outer column. I could have explained meaning of DA. Tax treatment is fully taxable without telling you what is in terms, not in terms. Right now it is not required because anyways both are taxable. But in the exemption calculation, Atta, that this exemption calculation requires DA in terms. This requires both. Then you will ask, sir, ye kya hota? let's complete it here itself. What is DA in terms? Fixed from the beginning and not in terms, which is not fixed. Both of them are fully taxable. Here, I am seriously speaking, not interested in you knowing the tax treatment. Are we clear about the meaning of DA yes. and internally meaning of in terms and not in terms? Yes. Apart from that, what will be taught to us in the chapter? See if you have understood this. The allowances that you have received from your boss. That means, can I say money paid by boss to you? It will be given to you in the question. Boss paid 40,000, 10,000, 5,000, 2,000. Is me say, how much is going to be? Not all allowances have exemptions, but some of them have exemptions. Can I say under allowances, this is that part that I have to teach you? And after subtracting the exemption, we will get the taxable amount. So, can you see? This is what I am asking you to do here. But my teaching part will be the exemption wala part. Teaching part will be this. Question will give you A. You are interested in C. How to find out B? I will teach you. Because A minus B equal to C that amount which you are supposed to find out. Barabar hai Chalo. So we will learn that allowance wala part. Apart from that, under perquisites also. Directly what we will do, what is the taxable value of the perquisite, directly learn this and can I say these are the two parts of the chapter that I am going to teach you is what I have told you here. Perquisite may directly learn how to find out the taxable value and add in the taxable salary. But these two parts of the chapter are going to be taught over the next few lectures. Salary ka chapter is only about learning exemption under allowances and valuation of taxable perquisites. That's your chapter salary. Samjha kya? Chaliye. This total will be called gross salary. Total ko kya bolenge? Gross salary. Because from this gross salary, we will give you some deductions under section 16. 16. 15 is the charging section. 16 may we are giving you deduction. First deduction, we will give you a standard deduction. What is standard deduction in house property? 30% of NAV. Here it is actual salary. Matlab, can I say your gross salary that you have computed here? Or rupees 50,000, whichever is lower. So, if your gross salary is 40,000, so your standard deduction will be 40, taxable value 0. And if your gross salary is 4 lakh, so standard deduction will be 50,000. Standard deduction will be actual salary or 50,000, whichever is lower. Did I tell you about the new taxation regime? 
forego some tax benefits are i told you that if it was not for the new regime then we would have done tax rates in the beginning itself so listen new regime mein you will not get certain tax benefits this is one of them matlab new regime mein you pay tax on this amount an old regime mein you pay tax after taking deduction so unless i teach you heads of income unless i teach you what are the deductions to be taken or to be foregone it is not possible that you can answer this इसीलिए वी डिसाइडेड नॉट टू डू टैक्स रेट्स इन द बिगिनिंग सो स्टैंडर्ड डिडक्शन इज क्लियर ग्रॉस सैलरी और फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विच एवर इज लोअर सेकेंड द डिडक्शन फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट अलावेंस दिस डिडक्शन विल बी गिवन एंटरटेनमेंट अलावेंस ओनली फॉर गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉइज मतलब लिसन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव गॉट एंटरटेनमेंट अलावेंस योर बॉस हैज गिवन यू मनी टू एंटरटेन योर सेल्फ हाउ यू डू दैट दैट्स योर अपना अपना टैलेंट बट योर बॉस हैज गिवन यू मनी टू एंटरटेन योर सेल्फ बराबर है दैट एंटरटेनमेंट अलावेंस विल बी इंक्लूडेड योर इन द इनकम अलावेंस विल बी इंक्लूडेड योर एग्जेंशन इज जीरो व्हाई देयर इज नो एग्जेंशन बिकॉज़ वी आर गिविंग डिडक्शन सेपरेट नाउ दैट मींस कैन आई से द रिसीव्ड अमाउंट विल बी फुल्ली कमिंग इन दिस कॉलम इन द आउटर कॉलम We will give deduction only to government employee. मतलब देखो private sector के लिए क्या आएगा? Received will go in the outer column and deduction also zero. That means for private sector entertainment allowance is fully taxable. But for government employees, once again received will come in the outer column. But we will give a deduction which is going to be least of the following three figures. मतलब A, B और C whichever is lowest. First. the actual entertainment allowance can i say that only which we have written above in the income actual amount second <coughs> 5000 per annum so if actual is 10000 it will be restricted to 5 third 1/5 do you understand 1/5 is same as 20% 20% of your basic salary out of a b and c whichever is lowest will become your deduction nahi zaruri nahi hai basic salary for the year is 20000 government no, adjust on paper it can be anything okay so theek hai 5000 agar lowest hai to but what you need to understand is if i am private sector this is directly zero deduction is only for government employee is that clear to you <coughs> and what is the deduction for government employee calculation actual 5000 or 1/5 of basic salary whichever is lower and third if there is something called professional tax also known as tax on employment this is something that you have to pay to the state government where you are getting your job every month state government takes 200 rupees but last month may it takes 300 march may it takes 300 because full year ka they want 2500 agar 2200 karke liya to fir it becomes only 24 no so last month may they take 100 rupees extra they want 2500 so your boss will not give you 50000 he will give you only 49800 because that tax on behalf of you he will pay to the government it is as good as you have paid but here in income we have to take full 50000 because your salary is 50 so what we will do is whatever professional tax which got deducted from your salary mitro only if it is paid and this deduction will be given both government or non government but only if paid dekho one rule remember if the payee is government municipal taxes only if paid the professional tax also only if paid if it is out, outstanding unpaid no deduction ha 4 saal tak you don't pay no deduction fifth year you pay together 5 years term take deduction exactly same as your municipal tax wala concept payment basis pe you will get whether government or non government matlab entertainment allowance ka deduction will be only for government employee but professional tax ka deduction will be for everyone but only if you pay ye teen deduction leke ladies and gentlemen congratulations 
दैट इज योर नेट टैक्सेबल सैलरी हो गया नेट टैक्सेबल सैलरी दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू लर्न इन अवर चैप्टर सैलरी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सेज दैट माई स्टेट हैज गिवन यू जॉब ओके एंड इस जॉब का सैलरी में जो प्रॉफिट आ रहा है दैट इनकम टैक्स यूर पेइंग टू दी सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट तो द स्टेट दैट हैज जनरेटेड अ जॉब फॉर यू यू हैव टू पे समथिंग एज नॉमिनल एज टू हंड्रेड रुपीज पर मंथ बट समथिंग यू हैव टू पे सो दैट वी कैन टेल माई स्टेट इज गिविंग यू द जॉब टू पे समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड टैक्स ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टेक्स इट ऑल्सो नोन एज प्रोफेशनल टैक्स this has to be paid is that clear so after these three deductions you will get your net taxable salary but observe carefully is pure format mein deductions wala part is to finish here only pehla wala whichever is lower actual or 50000 second wala is three amount whichever is lower remember that only government employ third wala for both but only is paid so in this part also basic done da ka explanation is done all that i am required to teach you is this part usme bhi allowances mein exempt wala part perquisite mein taxable wala part clear hai everyone well we'll continue in the next class